Hi everybody, Dan Oman here with the Woodbine Play of the Day for Monday, October the 8th. It's race number 7, the $100,000 Bunty Lawless Stakes at one mile on the E.P. Taylor Turf Course. Let's take a look at this field. It is a very competitive bunch of older runners in the Bunty Lawless, a one-turn mile race. And for this uh, edition of the Woodbine Play of the Day, I think I'm just going to identify contenders that I want to use in multiple race wagers. And I want to begin with the number one, Kingsport. You don't want to rate Kingsport too heavily off his win in the Elgin two starts back because that was one of the slowest pace races you're ever going to see. It was only a field of four. Kingsport was allowed to set the pace and just consider these fractions. 28 and one, 53 and three, 117 and one. With those fractions and the lead, he's supposed to win and he did take that race with a grain of salt. And then take his most recent performance with a grain of salt as well. Setting those slow fractions didn't exactly prepare him for turning back in distance and facing sharp horses like Yorkton and champion Pink Lloyd in the grade three bold venture stakes at six and a half furlongs. Nevertheless, he was bet to three to one. And when facing much faster fractions, he was simply run off of his feet. Don't take that race at face value either. Kingsport is now making his third start of the form cycle. And if you look at his overall body of work, you have a rock solid six year old in the exact 16 of 28. And while he's done most of his damage over the synthetic surfaces in Canada, a lot of folks forget that he was only beaten a nose in this very race on turf in 2015. There should be some pace for Kingsport to run at. He is proven from well off of the pace. He won the Shepperton three starts back over Pink Lloyd and I think Kingsport has a ton of quality. I have to use him in the Bunty Lawless. Another horse that I really want to consider is the number four, Boreal Spirit. Let's throw up the time form U.S. pace projector for this race. Boreal Spirit is expected to make the lead, and that red bar could work against Boreal Spirit because he is a question mark at this one mile distance. He has done well sprinting in his career, but when you get going long with him, it's a little bit of a different story. That being said, I think Boreal Spirit's going to obtain a clear lead despite going fast, and I think he is in sneaky good form for trainer Jennifer Schaefer. The last two times this horse ran on turf, well, he has one excuse. He ran in the play the King Stakes against Mr. Haverkamp, who just ran second in the Woodbine Mile, and he caught yielding going to boot. He was simply overmatched over too soft ground that day. Four starts back in his first race off a six-month layoff going six furlongs. He was just sitting and Gary Boulanger had him in the pistol grips turning into the stretch. He sure didn't look like a 15 to 1 chance and he finished the race off to the tune of a 94 buyer speed figure. Last time out in the bold venture, he allowed Yorkton to get the early lead and he just wasn't able to finish. He is not a synthetic horse, 0 for 13 on synth, 2 for 7 on turf. He's getting back to the turf, he's going to be on the lead, and he's a horse that you have to consider in multiple race wagers. The 5 Thor's Rocket is another one that you may want to consider. He is not a proven winner. He actually hasn't won a race in over two years, but he has come close. Two starts back on the turf. He made the lead in the stretch, and I think Alan Garcia moved a little bit too soon. He put this horse to the whip on the far turn. He opened up the lead at the 316th pole, and he was just run down late. And last time out in the Elgin, Kingsport got the lead. Thor's Rocket chased. It was too much of an advantage for Kingsport. He has excuses, I think, for both of those races. He also has fast enough races to win, and I think he has enough tactics tactical speed to stay in close enough attendance to Boreal Spirit. I think the mile is fine for Thor's Rocket, and I would use him. Maybe the six ethical funds is a bit dressed up by his most recent race. A career best buyer performance going a mile and a quarter when he was just allowed to walk on a very easy lead. But I did like the way he kicked home in the stretch. He's a salty enough veteran, and I don't think he needs the lead to be successful. He has won from off the pace in the past, and he has done well at this shorter distance. He might be the biggest price of the four horses that I've mentioned in this race. And maybe I'd play a small win bet on ethical funds. But to be honest, I want to spread in multis. I want to use Kingsport. I want to use Boreal Spirit. I want to use Thor's Rocket. And I want to use ethical funds because I think he got back into form last time out on firm ground. It's going to be a fun race. The Bunty Lawless Stakes, your Woodbine Play of the Day for Monday. Best of luck.